Some women have a problem where they had a previous family and decided they would not want to have any more children and had a tubal ligation performed. Later, circumstances in their life change and they have a change of mind. However, recreating, re-establishing fertility could be difficult. Nowadays, we have two options. One of them is the so-called untying of the tubes or reversal of the tubal ligation. The other includes uh, totally bypassing the tubes and using in vitro fertilization. At the Midwest Fertility Center, we have developed a special technique where we can do the microscopic reversal using a laparoscope. We first do a preliminary evaluation. We need to assess the male, because if the sperm count is very low, regardless of the integrity of the tubes, the patient will eventually require in vitro fertilization. We need to see the potential of the success of in vitro fertilization by assessing ovarian reserve or the hormonal potential of the woman and we need to make sure there is sufficient amount of tube to be able to fix the tube. If both options are available then the woman needs to make a decision. If all she wants is only a single child maybe she's better off maintaining her tubal ligation and doing in vitro fertilization. On the other hand, if the woman would like to have a whole additional family, then maybe reversing the tubes might be a better choice. Once the tubes are reversed, if they're going to work, all you need to do is have intercourse at home and you will probably eventually conceive. We have very high success rate. Most of the tubes that we reverse are patent. And if they are also functional and there wasn't too much damage to the tube, pregnancy will eventually occur.